morning everybody. Little Dave from a sunny derby in the UK. I thought today we'd do something slightly different. We're going to have a look at this Beatles compilation album. Beatles Hey Jude. And this was originally released in early 1970 in the USA. Uh, so it was the stopgap album between Abbey Road and Let It Be. Because Let It Be hadn't actually been released when this album came out. This is a first... Uh, pressing from the USA, as you can see, a lovely photo on the front, photo on the back, and the track listing is down there. Now, this being an American album, it's got like a cardboard co cover, it's like thick cardboard, no laminate on it. So, you will get most American albums from the 60s and 70s, you do get a lot of ring wear on them. Now the interesting thing about this is I said it's the Beatles Hey Jude, didn't I? Well, in fact, the first copies weren't called that. The first copies were actually called the Beatles again. I don't know if you can see that on the label there. That was it better on the B side. So if you have a copy of this, I mean, it, it, it's pretty common in America it's not so common in here in the UK so if you've got one that says the Beatles again like this one does then you know it is a first person track listing on here is quite interesting as well because you've got uh, can't buy me love I should have known better paperback writer rain lady Madonna and revolution so that's on the A side on the B side You've got Hey Jude, Old Brown Shoe, Don't Let Me Down, and The Ballad of John and Yoko. You can see on there. So yeah, you know, all in all, nice little compilation album. Probably could have done with uh, The Inner Light and probably Baby or Rich Man or something on there instead of them. The first two, but all in all, nice running order. Sound quality is really nice as well. Like I say, this is a genuine first copy, so it has got a scratch on it, but it, it plays nice. So that's it. So, but I've got a couple of variations of this as well. So that's the first one, which, which was actually called the Beat the Beatles again. Um, but that's the American one. Alright, the next one I'm going to show you. Because it's got a bit of a strange story to it, actually, this. Because I don't think... I don't actually think it was uh, ever meant for release in the UK. Well, not at the time, anyway. We did get it eventually, but... Alright, this, this is a fully laminated sleeve on this one. An interesting thing about this is it's on Odeon. It's actually a Spanish copy. Again, you see it's fully laminated on the front, but not on the back, so you still get a bit of the ring wear. Now the story has it that originally, that was supposed to be the ace, uh, going to be the front cover, and this was going to be the back cover. And this photo session was actually one of the last photos for this album cover, was one of, taken from the last photo session that the Beatles ever did on the 22nd of August in 1969 at John Lennon's Tittenhurst Park mansion so we'll have a look at this one then I say the cover on this one is actually a lot better than the American one <clears throat> side A lovely blue Odin label side B blue Odin label yeah. now the interesting thing about this copy is yeah, it's Spanish. It's on Odin instead of Apple. But it actually doesn't have the Ballad of John and Yoko on it. So on the B side, you only get three songs on it. A Jude, Old Brown Shoe, and Don't Let Me Down. And on this one, again, it, it is still called the, the Beatles again. Look, it's not called A Jude. It's still called the Beatles again. Sound quality on that one is actually very nice. Like I say, 
do it to all my records, I do I do play some of it. I don't, I don't play as often as others. Well, you know, I do have like if I've got more than one copy, I will have like a, a everyday playing copy. And then if they're a bit rarer, you know, I tend to keep them for you know better knit. So that's a Spanish copy. Now in the UK, we got this in 1973. Like I say, it was it, at the time it was never really officially released in the UK. Nice Apple Records look on the back. Fully laminated sleeve this time, so you've got plastic on the front and the back. And on the spine, it does say Hey Jude this time. Now this is actually a, what they call a UK export copy. It's probably one of the most common ex UK export copies you can get. You can pick these up off uh, eBay for round. £40 I think it is. So the catalogue number is CPS 106. Nice light green labels. It's a bit hard to get on there because like I say I'm still doing this on my phone at the minute. Because my cam, you know, my webcam thing that I bought for my laptop. Still haven't decided. <laughs> still can't get it to work properly. So that's how we got it in 1973 in the UK. Like I say, it was an export copy, so it was pretty hard to get at the time. But in recent years, you know, they do seem to have printed quite a few of them. Um, you know, and it, like I say, it's probably the most easiest, well, say easiest, most common UK export copy you can get. Probably worth around the 40 to 50 pound mark. So in the UK we actually had to wait till 1979 to get an official release for this album. And this is it, this has got a little bit of damage, I, I think it was a sticker there at one time. And by the time we got it in the UK, officially, Apple didn't exist anymore. So this is on Parlophone. And the catalogue number is PCS7184. You can see that there. And it is a silver and black two box label. I think it did chart in the UK, but I don't think it got very high, high in the album charts at the time. So track listing on that is exactly the same. You know, it's compilations go. It was a nice compilation. I think that the uh, the original American version it was it was supposed to be like um, songs that hadn't appeared on any American albums at the time. So that's it. My little collection of. Uh, the vehicles again, or Hey Jude. Even that's quite rare to get now. In fact, this this is, believe it not, this is very more rare to get here in the UK than the actual uh, export copy. So yeah, the vehicles Hey Jude. Now, I was going to do uh, another video today uh, about George Harrison's All Things Must Pass. I was going to review my original UK copy, but it seems there's a lot of uh, videos about that on YouTube at the minute, so I thought I'd give it a miss and have a go with this one instead. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Quick update um, on that David Bowie album that we put on eBay. It did actually sell the other day for, I think it took an offer £20 on, on it, plus post and packaging. So yeah, that one did actually sell quite quick. Um, I have got um, something coming in the post. It should have been here yesterday, but it, it basically didn't get here in time. So uh, that will be something for a future video. Uh, the other job lot that I'd got my eye on went way out of my price range, which I thought it would, but it did have some really nice things in it. It had got um, a Let It Be box set. It had got a George Harrison All Things Must Pass box set. It had got the box set of, I think it was the, Concerts of Bangladesh. It got some original Beatles mono albums, British mono albums. It got some um, 
American albums in it. Uh, and it got some, st I think it was Stereo One Box EMI reissues from 1969. So like I say, it would have been really nice to have, but unfortunately, you know, I just didn't have the funds to to buy it. And, you know, I, I, did, I did put a few bids on it. Um, I can't say how much I did bid up to, in case my missus is listening to it. But, um, I mean, it doesn't matter because I didn't buy it. I think in the end it went just for just under £600. But then you'd got... I think it was forty or forty-five pound post and package on top of that. Would have been worth. Would have been worth it, you know. And the, the, there was a lot of nice stuff in there, and there's a few things that I hadn't got. So uh, yeah, I should be looking, looking out to see if there's anything else about. The other thing is, I'm a bit torn or undecided about buying a George Harrison All Things Must Pass reissue box set. Like I say, I've got the original UK version. So if I get one, I don't just want to get like the three disc version. I want to either get the five disc version or if I can get it at a decent price, the eight LP version because that comes in a really nice elaborate box and you get a book with it and you get copies of the um, demos and things like that. So I think I might have to save up my pennies and go for that one. Okay, so from uh, Sunny Derby, Beetle Dave. Remember, if you like my videos, subscribe it's free it doesn't cost you anything tell your friends if you learn something you learn something which is all good and you know that's what i'm here for if i make you laugh you know that's okay it's just a little bit of fun uh and all i'm trying to do is you know pass on a little bit of my knowledge of beetles and stuff like that uh future videos I, i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do yet um because i'm back at work tomorrow four days on then i've got a few days off so i've got what they call a long weekend so hopefully next weekend all being well if the things come that i've ordered we could do a video like an unboxing video because we haven't done one of them yet have we anyway beetle dave signing off from sunny derby so enjoy your records cherish them love them clean them but above all play them you know that's what they're there for uh and above all else stay safe Thank you.